So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today I have some awesome action figure news for you. Let's get into it right away and start it off here with... The SH Figure Arts Iron Man 3 Tony Stark figure. A lot of people have been waiting to hear the release date, and we finally got one. So he's going to be releasing this October, so that's great news right there. They did an incredible job with this piece. It looks like a miniature Robert Downey Jr., and he is available for pre-order right now. The only thing, he did sell out in a lot of stores online. I'm sure you'll be able to find it if you look around, though. And he is going to be included with this piece. I have no idea what it's called, but I remember seeing it in all three Iron Man movies. So that's cool that that's included with the figure. It looks like we're going to have interchangeable lower legs and uh, forearms and hands, as you can see right there. It just looks like it's going to be a great figure, especially if you're an Iron Man fan. And if you want to build the Iron Man uh, Hall of Armor, this is a figure you will need to get. Alright, so moving on here, for all you wrestling fans, Tamashi Nations has revealed some WWE figures. Now this is great news, like I said, for wrestling fans. These are going to be some high quality wrestling figures, and this Rock one does look pretty awesome. They also did reveal the Stone Cold Steve Austin one. I think I'm going to pass on the Rock, but I'm definitely going to have to get the Stone Cold Steve Austin one because he always was my favorite wrestler from back in the day. I don't really watch wrestling too much now here and there, but I did love it back when I was younger, back when it was really good. But uh, pretty cool that we're going to be getting some SH Figure Arts WWE figures. And next here is the SH Figure Arts Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. They have announced the release date for the other two Michelangelo, as you can see here. He's going to be releasing this October and he is available for pre-order right now. So if you want to get this figure, now is your chance to pre-order it so you will be able to get it when it releases this October. And it seems like Michelangelo is going to come with some pretty cool accessories. We get two different pairs of nunchucks, and then we get this cool turtle grappling hook. We'll probably get, like, interchangeable heads and hands as well. Another cool thing about these TMNT figures is that from the knee down, it's going to be die-cast metal. So I think that's awesome that Tamashi Nations included die-cast metal with these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. And then right here is the SH Figure Arts TMNT Raphael figure. He's probably my favorite turtle, either him or Donatello. But this Raphael figure is going to be releasing this October along with the Michelangelo. So you can pre-order him and Michelangelo because they both are available for pre-order right now. And as you can see from this picture, it looks like Raphael will be included with some kunais, some throwing stars, along with his size, and then some interchangeable heads and hands. So we are getting a great amount of accessories with these TMNT figures, and of course his lower legs and feet will be die-cast metal. So I can't wait for these to release in October. Now, moving on, right here is some display images of the SH Figure Arts Django Fett, and man, this piece looks incredible they did an awesome job with it and he is releasing this september so i cannot wait to own this when he's released later on this year and he is available for pre-order his pre-order kind of like snuck snuck up online i didn't even realize he went up for pre-order but i cannot wait to get this figure this september and next here is the SH Figure Arts Episode 2 Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Kenobi and it looks like he is going to be releasing this November so that is great news and it looks like they're just reusing the currently released Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi that's already out just a new head sculpt with this one so I cannot wait to own this later on in the year. And next here is a display image of the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Trunks and the new Super Saiyan Vegeta. And both of these together look freaking awesome. Cannot wait to get Trunks this upcoming week and Vegeta in September. Now moving on, Tamashi Nations is on a roll. Some SH Figure Arts Suicide Squad movie figures. And right here is the Jared Leto Joker. And they are getting so much better with the likeness two actors that does look like the Jared Leto Joker to me and the figure just looks dope and I don't even think I'm gonna need to get the Mafex Joker now because of the SH Figure Arts one and they said they're gonna be releasing later on this year but this is what I'm mostly excited for look at the sculpt work on this Suicide Squad movie Harley Quinn I think you pronounce her name Margot Robbie I think that's how you pronounce it but the likeness of the actress looks just 
like her. They nailed it. They're getting so much better with the sculpt work of uh, capturing the likeness of the actors. I mean, the sculpt of the shirt and the jacket just look phenomenal. Same with the hair and everything. Tamashii Nations is killing it, and I can't wait to get these Suicide Squad movie figures. Moving on to the last of the figures, and right here is the SH Figure Arts Battle version Sasuke and the SH Figure Arts Itachi. These pieces look incredible, and Sasuke is releasing this October, so that is awesome news right there. And he is available for pre-order right now, so now is your chance to pre-order this figure so you will be able to own it this October. And from what I could see, it looks like from the waist down, it is reused from the currently released Sasuke, and from the waist up, like the upper torso, the arms, and even the hair and the face look like some new sculpt work. So at least half the figure is new. But anyone who missed out on the currently released Sasuke will now be able to own this one in their collection. And this version of Sasuke looks better than the one we have right now. Moving on to Itachi. And right here, this is the Akatsuki version. And this is the one I'm more excited for. He's going to be releasing either October or November this year. And he is available for pre-order right now. So if you would like to get this figure, now is your chance to get him. So you will be able to own it when he releases later on this year. I am so hyped for this one because Itachi and Kakashi are my favorite characters from Naruto. And one thing that I love what Tamashii Nations did with this piece is they gave him the removable cloak. Before, I didn't think it was going to be removable and I knew we were going to get a lot of hindered articulation. So very smart move by Tamashii Nations and I'm very happy that they gave him the removable cloak. And I'm even more excited for this to release later on this year. So that is all the action figure news I have for you this week. Let's take a look at my upcoming figure reviews. And next I will be reviewing the SH Figure Arts Mace Windu. And that'll be on either Monday or Tuesday this upcoming week. Then following that review will be of the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Trunks. And then either later on that week or the following week I will be reviewing the SH Figure Arts Baton and Shield First Order Stormtrooper. And then following that review will be the SH Figure Arts Civil War Captain America. So these will be my upcoming figure reviews and I hope you enjoyed my action figure news video. If you want to support the channel don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share and favorite the video too and if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome but thanks for watching i will see you later